So this is just going to be a basic look at um, working with samples on here. It's just going to be extremely basic, just showing you how to make a kit and things like that. I'm not going to get into recording samples on here or anything. Uh, so first thing we do, we're just on a blank track. So I'm going to press Shift Kit. Now that's going to create a new kit right here. So this is the note. That's the mute button for it and there's the grid to put in the steps so I'm in a folder that I've created on the SD card you can take out and put in your computer I think it's like two to three gigs somewhere around there uh, so I'm just going through just tons of different sounds that I have so I'm just gonna pick that for the kick drum all right, and now I'm going to press this, and it says none, so press load. So what this is going to do is going to load a new sample. Okay, I want a nice snare, so I'm going to go back. This is going to go up a folder, and let's just go to just one of these. Okay, so there's a snare I want. It's a little sounding snare, but I like it. So I'm just going to put that in. I want the snare to be a little louder, so I'm going to press the volume here. And just turn it up. For the drum part, or the kick drum, I think I want to tone down the cutoff a little. And the resonance. Just to mold it a little bit. Now let's load another sample. So I'm going to hold this down, press load, and now we're back. So I'm going to do that sound. You can just keep layering sounds as many as you want. So now let's continue. I'm just going to load a hi-hat sound or something. Oh, there's there's one right there. So I'm going to put that in here. Now let's make um, these notes go down in volume. Just to get a, a little bit of movement. So I'm holding down the note, turning the knob. As you can see, the values change. So now we can like mess around. There's tons of different effects here. I'm not gonna get into all that. I am going to just show you what you can do. Let's say we want some delay on this drum here. So I hold this down. I press delay here. All right, this is the delay rate and this is the amount. So you have to be a little careful with the delay because it can get pretty noisy. So as you can see, now it's only doing the delay effect right there. It can get very loud. Now let's put in some movement on here. So I can take the kick drum, for example, and pitch up the sound. And how to do that, you press custom one, which is this. So it just saved those sounds. Uh, if I wanted to, I could work on, let's say, the snare and make that kind of pitch. I can press record and do that same thing. And then I can go, let's say I want to go out here and I want to do some cutoff. So I hold this down. This is the entire track.
No, that's the entire track I'm doing that effect to. And now that I did it, it just recorded that. As you can see the values. Now if I want to remove it, all I have to do, hold this down, press shift, press that. It says delete, it's gone. So now I can adjust it accordingly. Let's turn off record here. Now the motion went away. Uh, let's say I like that, but I want to add like maybe a new kit on top of this. So I'm going to press a new track, shift kit. And here we go. Now we're back in this menu. I just want to choose like sound, maybe another kick drum. How about those two sounds? So I'm going to load that. And then let's load that other sound. So right there. Let's just put it random places here. Maybe we can uh, press shift and turn the tempo a little to make it give it a little bit of a swing. Um, now I can, what I can do is mute it. Okay. To make another kit. This one's going to be more like, uh, Okay, let's do that one. Let's load another sample here. Let's do the clap. Put in the snare again. Let's turn down that delay part. So I'm going to press the delay one. Turn that all the way down. I can take this track, add some delay on that. Pass, press this. Let's do the same with this one. And this one. Let's like record different changes on all of these filters now. Pressing record and then turning this. You can hear it move. Let's mute those. Now let's do the next one. Go back to this one. Let's actually turn that back down to low pass. 